David Chang, when I said send nudes, this is exactly what I meant. Thank you. Welcome back to the Box Builder Breakdown. I'm the Box Builder coming to you live from Giver HQ. If this is your first time on the Box Builder Breakdown, what we do is we order brands like this direct to consumer. I take them apart and talk about all the components and just give you my stream of consciousness about what I see, what I like, what I don't like, what I would do different. And uh, we score it at the end, one to five flutes. Apparently the iPhone has a flute uh, emoji, which somebody commented on one of our posts and I didn't know what it was. So comment below five, five flute emojis if you like it. Today we have Momofuku, which sounds fun. It just rolls off the tongue. Um, and they've done something here that I find very interesting. They've gone with multicolor Flexo print. How do we know that? Well, we could tell it's Flexo because of this line screen right here. If it were digital, it would not have this washboarding in it. There's other ways you can tell, but that's one way. Uh, it would not have these like high and low valleys, which we'll get to here in a minute. You can kind of see more density, less density, and I'll talk to you why that happens here in a bit. Um, you'll probably see some color ramps as well. But generally, we can just tell that this is flexo printing. The tooling for this was probably not cheap, um, but I say this all the time. When this box left their distribution center, between seven and 13 people touched it, and now they are aware of Momofuku. Um, the, I don't know if Momofuku has like an orange as a part of their branding, but when I saw this, I actually thought it was like a holiday fruit gift or something. That may have been strategy because this is noodles and they're a little bit fragile. So they may have done that uh, as a way to get people to think that this is fragile fruit. Sometimes you'll see, uh, I've seen bike boxes that had a TV put on it, printed on it to make people think that it's a TV so that in the minds of the handler, it just gets handled a little more delicately. Anyways, uh, let's dive in. Love the doorstep impression. Um, as I said, they really did a good job printing this. The flexo printing is six, seven out of 10. The registration's a little off, but actually it's, it's not that bad for what you're, what you're getting. Um, yeah, I like it. Could have used white tape, whatever. Uh, this is the washboarding we always talk about with white boxes. Could they have done it on craft? I think they could have. I think they could have gotten away with it. And I think they could have gotten similar pop. You can use opaque inks that kind of pop a little bit. Um, Sometimes they don't, depending on how the ink is formulated. But you've got good ink coverage here. You've got good color. I like it. Let's dive in here. I think this is a 32 ECT box. Is that what I saw on the bottom? Yeah, 32 ECT, white, craft. Ooh, interesting. The inside liner looks like pee-pee poo-poo. Ooh, yeah. That's a recycled liner, probably doesn't matter, but you can pretty much tell it's recycled by the way it looks. Sometimes you can feel it too, um, but it doesn't matter, the outside's white. Let's go. Probably didn't do much, but I like what you did there, David. You gave me something to talk about. Nudes, so these are the uh, Cook at Home Momofuku noodles. I think I got the full sampler kit, so it's like five packs of five. Um, Funny story, I was at Publix last night, we're in the middle of hurricane preparations and Momofuku had probably a 10 foot span on shelf. It was middle of the shelf. Uh, I was really surprised to see they owned that much shelf space at a Publix. They don't seem broken. Although, how would you really know, I guess, unless you opened it? We'll get to this here in a second. Bubble wrap, all this money on packaging and he went with bubble wrap. I will say this, this packaging is sourced in America, at least this box is, um, which I like to see. I'm gonna eat some of these later. I like all these brand colors. Um, really interesting. There's nothing really too special about the bags. They're nice. There you go. So these are the, um, well, I'll just take it out. You got bubble wrap inside of 
probably F flute insert, which like doesn't do anything really. These are the, one of them's I think chili crisp and the other one is um, a salt, I think. Seasoning salt, yeah. Funny thing about chili crisp, you may remember three, four, five months ago, David Chang's holding company sued, I think Fly by Jing for the term chili crisp, claiming they had a trademark on it. Let's see if they put a TM after chili crisp. Chili crunch, chili crunch. They don't have a TM after it. It doesn't mean they don't own the copyright to it. But he ended up backing off of that after the whole CPG community basically gave him crap. Um, maybe not him, actually the CEO of the company, I forget her name, um, but she might've been the one that said back off of this. Anyways, I like this stuff. Um, I have the flavor tolerance to put like a speck of it on there or else I get rumbly in the tumbly. Um, but I like it. It's a cool, interesting flavor that I really hadn't had before I had. I think Fly By Jing was the first chili crunch or chili crisp that I had. Now I get it from a local company called Tapped, Tapped Hot Sauce. Shout out to those guys. They make a great product too if you're looking for a non $75 alternative. And then seasoning salt. Um, seasoned salt, technically, as I guess what it says. I was looking for MSG to make a joke, but it's not in there. And then like, uh, they've got this thing. I don't know who designed this, but you could do better. You could do better. But hey, they arrived. They're not broken, mostly because of the bubble wrap and very unlikely having anything to do with these inserts. I don't like that. But yeah, soy sauce. I don't know what makes uh, restaurant grade. Thank you for telling me. I don't know what makes this any better than any other soy sauce. Uh, oh, it's got alcohol in it. I wonder if all soy sauce has alcohol. I don't know. Anyways, cool. Um, everything arrived fine. This is, you don't need this. You just get these done better. And then you don't have to have this. Then your all of your packaging, save for the bags, would be plastic free because these are glass. These are glass. The cap is plastic, but that's tough to get around. Um, let me take the bottom apart here and see if I can show you about line screen. Ah, yeah, okay, cool. So, Yeah, zoom in down here. It's actually, these aren't color ramps like I would ha have thought they were, but this is kind of showing you the, first of all, the different colors and how they're registered against each other. Um, sometimes you'll get blocks like a 5%, 20%, 50%, 100% coverage, and that'll show you the dots. How you get to this right here, this screen printed image, it's basically a bunch of dots that they lay down, not unlike you know, your TV screen, which is a bunch of dots, except this isn't a build of RGB. This is one color laid down. And the reason you get these thicker, thinner spots is because of the waviness of the material. Uh, zoom out here. You can see the waviness of the material. Those peaks and valleys will interact with the plate at different heights. So if you have a lot of pressure on the plate, you're gonna have the dots basically touch like they do here and it's gonna overlap. When you have less pressure, you don't make contact and you get this like not filled in area here. Um, you can see some of the registration is off here, this black trap line over this green here. Um, let's see if I can pull out any more of these. So I think this uh, red dot here, these red dots are supposed to be inside of those white dots. Maybe not perfectly registered, but uh, they're probably supposed to be more registered than they are. And generally you can look at these two and see like the green and the black are registered pretty close and then the orange and then the red is a little bit off too. So yeah, we don't get too many brands that do flexo printing with four colors and that have screen print like this. So this is a really cool box. This was an example of guys or a brand 
using the packaging that you could find on their Instagram ads actually getting sent to their customers. Unlike some brands which have like a pretty box online and then they send it to the customer and it's just like a Uline box or something. I get it. You use the expensive packaging to get the most out of your ads. But as a consumer, somebody buying the brand, I always like to see the nice packaging. And that's not just because I make the stuff. So I'm gonna give this bubble wrap. It's gotta take a point off. So I'm gonna give this four out of five flutes. That's the review for today. If this is your first time, please like, subscribe, comment. Um, to those of you who have notifications turned on, thank you very much, I appreciate it. I wasn't aware anyone did until somebody told me that they did, so I appreciate it. If you uh, have tried these, let me know. I don't like the spicy stuff, but I'm brave enough to try it. Um, there's a very low chance that I'll go through this in my entire lifetime. Um, so if you want me to send it to you, comment below, let me know, and I'll pick one of the commenters and I'll send it to you. Thanks for stopping by.